Well, hello everyone. My name is Roya and today we will be talking about what I read this week during the impromptu um, last year's booktube-a-thon that I decided to do. Even though I did not complete as many of the challenges as I did last week during the actual booktube-a-thon from this year, the books I read this week for last year's challenges were a lot better than the ones I read during booktube-a-thon. I almost wish I had somehow just read these during booktube-a-thon instead, but oh well. Because last week I pretty much ended up with one really good book and some that sort of were good but not amazing or anything, and some that were just kind of okay. But this time, all of the books I've read are amazing. For a book-to-movie adaptation, I read The Last Unicorn, and this was a reread for me, so of course I knew it was going to be good anyway. And it also counts for the Five Faves readathon that ends this month as well, so I only have three more books to reread for that, which is awesome. For a book with red on the cover and a book with pictures in it, I read Slayers Volume 1, and this was an amazing book. It cracked me up so much and like really cheered me up and everything. This is one of the novels that inspired the manga and the anime, and I don't know what I was expecting, but it kicked ass and I just loved it. I just don't even know how to describe it. For start and finish a series, I started a series. I did not finish it. This was really through no fault of mine as it's mostly because um, I didn't get the other books in time to do this this week. But Bout of Books is this coming week and I will finish all the all of the rest of the books during next week, which is cool. This book is really good though. It's about a girl who gets shipped off to boarding school in France all of a sudden and she's freaking out. She's so sheltered, she's never even been on a plane by herself. And she doesn't speak French and it's her senior year so when she gets there everyone there already knows each other because they've already been going to school there for three years. The next two books in this series are Lola and the Boy Next Door and Isla and the Happily Ever After and I'm definitely looking forward to reading those. I also read The Winner's Curse and uh, this was just to fill up the read seven books challenge, um, basically. Um, but of course I didn't read seven books because I didn't even finish the ones I picked for the other challenge, uh, the other challenges. The book was amazing. I such good things about it and it did not disappoint. Um, it's kind of interesting because this book is a fantasy but there's nothing even slightly magical about it at all and it didn't need it at all. Um, the second one is out as well. It's called The Winner's Crime, and I'm looking forward to reading that one as well. And besides the Finish a Series Challenge, the only other book that I did not read that I meant to this week um, for last year's Booktubeathon was this book, Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. But it'll be the first thing I read um, next week during Bout of Books, that's for sure. This was supposed to be the challenge for a book that someone else picks and a book from the genre you've read the least this year. I felt particularly bad not reading this yet because my boyfriend, who is out of town right now, told me to read it and I really want to read it before he gets back, but of course I have all of next week before he gets back too. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have another one up soon. Bye!